Okay, so yeah, we are now joined by the legendary Combi Christ on Festpod. Yeah. Boys, welcome to Festpod. Legendary. First one for me, man. Yeah, First yeah. Bloodstock ever, so I'm stoked. First ever? Uh huh. Shit, man, how are you finding it? It's great so far. I think you've been here before, right, Elliot? I've been here before in, in uh, 2018. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we played the main stage, and it was, it was the end of the tour, and it was fantastic. This is actually my first UK festival overall. Look at that. Woo! Bloodstock Virgins, let's get it. Okay. I love it. <laughs> Nice, nice. So you've so, been busy, aren't you? You're on, you're on tour currently, is that right? Indeed. Yep. yep. Yeah, uh, end of the second uh, leg is today, actually. So uh, it's been about, what, two and a half weeks? About yep. three weeks? Yes. Well, I've lost count, honestly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, we're in delirium right now. We're, we're doing, we're doing like two months over the course of, of some weekends and a segment of, of four weeks. And where we are right now in the grand scheme of things, I've lost it. I don't know. You're losing track. Have you slept well? Are you sleeping well? <laughs> I'm tour managing, so I don't sleep at all. <laughs> Clearly not, no. <laughs> We're Some nights. Yeah. Yeah. How about Some you boys? Nights. Are you sleeping like babies then, yeah? Why he's why he's doing this? Uh better than he does, but uh perhaps, you know, yeah. It's it's night to night. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the festival grow like since you've been back? You know, how has the festival changed? Is it is it developed in some ways? It looks like there's more people. Um don't make me promise that, but it looks <laughs> it looks like it. And uh, I mean it's it feels very busy right now, and, and which is most likely a very good thing. It's going to be good. I think these people are very, very excited to see you boys play today. Are you excited for your set? Absolutely. It's going to be a banger. The tour has been great so far. We're out, we're out in support of the new album, so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a pretty heavy beast as well. So having so many heavy bands on this festival, it's, uh, I think it's really going to drop well. So I think adding sort of the industrial metal element to this is... I think people who are skeptical to us because they think they know what we're doing, for example, will be proven <laughs> extremely wrong. Oh, I can't wait to see there's some shocked expressions within this crowd. Like, I'm really forward to, looking forward to this. I've never seen you guys live, so this is going to be an experience for me. I, I hope to be one of those shocked people today in the crowd. I, I'll let you know because my face will be very much wide open. I'm going to call it right now. The end of the set, you're going to be like mind blown. There's one part coming, you're going to be like, what? It's going to blow it's, my hair off. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> Absolutely. little teaser for you there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, com yeah. Com Combi Christ is a great project. I mean, like the 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 kind of the, the electronic influences with that kind of metal influences. How did that kind of come about? What, what was it that kind of amalgamated that and you thought, fuck yeah, this is it? I think, well, we just recently talked about this actually. And it's like our, our, our singer does most of the writing. Andy, and um, he was in hardcore bands and he kind of got sick of listening to the same quote unquote same song over and over and wanted to do something else. So he started like what was his techno project basically. And that uh, then ended up being because if once you are a punk rocker, you're always a punk rocker. So that ended up being a punky sort of electro project or punky techno. Stompy death techno. Right. And then <laughs> that's kind of, you know, and then. Uh, when that got boring, he was like, okay, let's add guitars then. <laughs> and here we are. And, and now, now I almost feel like the electronics are taking a back seat a little bit and we're focusing way more on strings. And um, however, that's, that's, the, that's the expression we're choosing right now. The songs are the same. It's the interesting, interesting. Um, so, so is that kind of where your direction of the union your music's going now is is kind of going more guitar based and I mean, kind of well, with, with this record definitely yeah. yeah but I mean there's still a pretty heavy electronic influence yeah, yeah. but I think we brought a lot of like thrash metal and black yep. metal influence yep. to it and uh, and he's also like he's Norwegian and he's got like a lot of like Norse music influence as well so I think that hangs out pretty hard on this record. Yeah. And the record's a celebration of the kind of the every era of Combi Christ too. You get a little electro, a little bit of metal, and a little bit of something new too that hasn't been yeah. done before. Yeah. So kind of a mix of all the I best mean, worlds. There, there was the there was the, the rocky era as well with, exactly, with uh, yeah. you know like my life and, yeah. and all this kind of it was more like straight yeah. straight riffs and yeah. now it's like death race. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure, yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah. And now we're we're everywhere between like we're we got blast beats in there. We got really slow, heavy, droney, 70s, sludgy tracks. Depending on the day, we could be three different bands, whatever you want us to be, you know? So. But, but that's great, though, because like your, your appeal grows again, and you can bring in so many more people who maybe weren't fans exactly. of Combo Christ initially, and now you've got this whole new fan base, as well as 
the old school uh, yeah. with a classic kind of combi quest sound. Yeah. So I thought, that's, that's great, and that's the way to go, isn't it? You got to keep, keep growing, keep pushing, and keep finding that new, I don't want to say that new sound because it sounds that cheesy, but no, sure. finding that new sound. No, but a great example, you know, we're playing Bloodstock today with some of the heaviest bands out there, and we'll fit right in. We're technically playing Maraluna tomorrow, which is much more kind of um, scene goth stuff, and we'll fit right in there too. So it's kind of like, you know, you can, like a chameleon sort of thing, you can nice, fit in. Nice you versatile know. sound, and you've yeah, got a nice, exactly. great big, mass amount of audiences, big mixed range of people coming here. There's families here, there's loads of people, so your, your music's going to connect with, with a lot of people today, I think. You know, I'm excited to see, you know, the reactions to this. You've, you've been doing this a while now. You, you just said you've been doing this for plus 20 years now, brother. Plus 20 years, yeah. Woo. And I guess we only really want to be the best band you've seen this year. And if we're not, come back next year, we totally will. There you go. <laughs> we'll make it up to you. Totally, totally expecting this to go off. So we're really looking forward to your set. I mean, is there, is there anyone that you're going to get a chance to maybe see whilst you're here? Are you going to be able to sneak and see some bands whilst you're here? Whitechapel, dude. Yeah. Yes. One of my favorite bands ever, nice. Whitechapel. I checked out Crypto this morning and it was everything that I expected. Amazing. Fantastic band. I've been listening to them since their first single came out and first chance I got to see them live. Yeah. And it was absolutely phenomenal. That's sick, man. Just came from watching Mimi Barks. Oh, fun. true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Friend, of, friend of the band, Mimi Barks. Mimi yeah. Barks and Ludovico Techniques. So that was, that was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sick. No, it's, it's, like, it's exciting to see all the bands. And, and in this festival, have you noticed how accessible things are? Things are nice and close. We can get to each stage. We're not yeah. missing out on anything. We, we can find everything quite easily. Do you know what I mean? So I think the convenience of the festival. Do you yeah, find the community absolutely. here is better than most festivals? That's what I keep feeling about. I keep hearing Seems about it. Seems that you know? way, yeah. I, I always love coming back to the UK because everyone's so friendly and it, it's like open, uh, it's inclusive, everyone's allowed, yeah. it's great, great vibe. Yeah. And Andy's resting his voice, how's he, how's he finding that? He's, you know, he's, he's got a lot of work to do today, so he's, he's preparing himself, do you, does he look after his voice more as the years have gone by? Obviously that, that's not Absolutely. really been a thing Absolutely, in the past, has yeah. it? Uh, he's basically, uh, he's, uh, he's usually after a show, he won't be out talking, he always tries to save the voice and make sure he's on point for the next night. Very, very careful to make sure that we can deliver the show with the best we've got. Yeah, and today is also precarious because we're uh, we're flying. Me and Andy are flying tonight to to Maraluna Festival in in, in uh, Hanover. Uh, to the, we're just doing an electro set there, so it's just the two of us. Uh, but that means also that he's going to have to be awake all night, basically, and airports and stuff like this, and still manage tomorrow after the set. It's, so it's very, it's very taxing. Without the sleep, I'd say. I'm mean, honestly. I mean. I'm a vocalist for a different band for Crushed by Waves and, and, and I know how taxing that the, the vocalist is, is all the pressure's on because <laughs> you know no singy no songy do you know what I mean so it's, it's very right. difficult you you have to be the boring one so I imagine Andy is probably the same he's probably keeping quiet and looking after his voice and the, the lack of sleep that you just mentioned there if he's traveling long distances you know the nice. impact that has on your voice he, he must be a, an absolute warrior to keep going and, and keep touring with you boys and doing that so he's a soldier he's a beast um, he's a beast he is. <laughs> we can sniffle our way through a set but if, if he, his voice fails then we're done yeah no well a lot of respect to andy there and i think i respect for him for looking after his voice and you know giving the fans exactly what they they're obviously showing up for they, they take the time to come and see you boys you, you're clearly taking that into consideration and delivering back to them you know tenfold what they what they owe and i'm really looking forward to seeing the reaction to some of this this cool new music this surprise you know i am now excited you've, good, you've, you've dropped that little penny now it's in the back of my mind i'm like I love it. i'm excited for what's coming boys cool. yeah so are we it's gonna be a great show definitely sweet yeah thanks for having us man so no, we're listen, stoked listen, to be thanks here very much boys is there anything that we should be looking out for any new music or any any things that are getting released this year that we should be sort of holding our breath waiting for i mean listen closely to the new record it is out and it's we're really 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 proud of it it's yep. uh it's a, it's like we said before it is kind of like it's a new sound for us that's i think it's really gelled every sound that we've ever made yeah so please listen it is out it just came out in may and we're we're on tour for it now and we're always making new music now so. the, rea the reaction that i've seen on spotify people are clearly listening because the monthly listeners are through the roof, so people are enjoying what they're hearing. So you boys are clearly doing very well, smashing it. This new direction sounds heavy, it's stringy, it's raw, it's a bit more, you know, it's 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 back to the basics here. We're, we're throwing them some hard balls here. Like you say, you know, you're just giving them what they want and, and people are clearly reacting well. So, you know, I'm enjoying what you boys are doing. I'm very grateful you've taken the time to speak to us. Thanks for joining FestPod and, uh, you know, have a great festival. Have a great tour, lads, yeah? Enjoy. Yeah, cheers, guys. Thank you, man. Cheers. cheers. <laughs>